Uh, grooming. What does grooming mean to me? Uh, <laughs> so awkward. Um, grooming means like a much older person. Grooming it, um, has twofold meanings. Grooming? Oh, fuck. For me, grooming means if you're young and you're a female. Grooming means, um, I want to say unity. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so go for it. Uh, grooming to me uh, means getting to know the pet and the pet parents. Bring them in, do your best, and make sure the pet is, uh, you know, comfortable, happy, uh, taken care of to the best of my abilities and those around me. Um, we send the pet home happy, make sure the pet parent's happy, and you know, it's part of what it is. But right now in this time frame, grooming is what happens to children when um, with pedophilia and trying to bring them into uh, what I call the dark side of society uh, and putting them in jeopardy. Okay. To the grandma of the group, <laughs> just cleaning myself, making myself presentable to go out in public. I think it's for the downstairs. Yeah. Cleaning yeah. it up. Yes. <laughs> that is not what you said. <laughs> I think grooming is like for it's for like for everybody. Grooming, like it makes me think of a dog. Like, that too, but it also like means uh, like taking care, care of yourself. yourself. <laughs> it has something to do with assault. <laughs> We're not going there. We're being positive. <laughs> that is what you thought of. <laughs> Be honest now. I thought it was grooming is sexual assault. Okay. okay. I mean, just like someone, I don't know. They hit on you and wait for you till you turn 18 and be like, mm, I can hit that since she's 18 already. And same thing for, I, I would say more femme people, uh, people who don't think that they can't defend themselves, I would say. Yeah. Like, good grooming is good, you don't, yeah, yeah it's like. Taking all the bugs off. Know. Well, that's a label that a lot of people put on me as a gay educator. Someone like trying to convince you to do something or, I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. That is true. Yeah, I teach third grade and everyone wants to say that we're grooming, but I'm literally just trying to do my job. You I know? think for older people, who date or flirt with younger people, they can be categorized as grooming them into a relationship or into other things because of their young, naive mind. Mm -hmm. And a sense of understanding. I like Gru because no one has a clear understanding of what it is. So they have their own interpretation. And it's really good to have your own interpretation. I don't, if it's your thing, it's your thing, but it's not mine. I don't like it. Grooming means to me that you are well kept. You take pride in your appearance. Doesn't mean you are dressed to the nines, but clean clothes, things fit, um, you take care of your appearance. Basically doing sexual advances to a younger child. Yeah. <laughs> Older men who are like, it's like, especially like when you're in high school, like when they, you have like, let's say you're 14 years old and like a 19 year old's like hitting on you because he like knows you from school. Like he went to your high school like five years ago and he's just like, oh my God, like you're so mature for your age. And then it's like trying to convince you like you're a woman so he can like get with you. That's what it means to me. Yeah. I mean, grooming to me <laughs> means being clean. That's, and like just taking care of your personal appearance. That's what grooming <laughs> means to me. <laughs> uh, well, there's probably two meanings. One is 
taking care of your pet because I'm at a pet store and the other is probably like training somebody to be something per your ideals you know like to usually to find yourself like what you post like what you want to wear of being yourself of not having judgment some people some people think like you shouldn't wear this or wear that but then you're like why do you care what why do you care what I think because this is my body my choice not yours to do what you think is best for me because it's not your decision it's only you and yourself decide what you wear or what you think is best we're on different pages we are we're, we're on different pages oh shit my bad i think i missed the question guys <laughs> all right go to question two please <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Um, what would convince? I don't know. It, that I'm gay? Um, I could never be convinced because if anybody asked me, I'd just laugh and think they were joking. Uh, I don't think it's any it's convincing. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feeling. It's not... You you're know. born with it, and it's... It is what it is. I mean, you like what you like. That's it. Yep. I think. I mean, you just know what you want, and whatever pleases you is what you like. I think that's a hard question to ask because because a lot of people don't like coming out because they don't know how they would be judged. And I think I learned a lot about myself today. For me, gay means that you are totally satisfied with someone sexually from the same gender that you are. So, if Having sex with the same sex and liking it. I think it's strictly you're one side or the other. <laughs> If you want, if you're like curious, if you're gay or straight, like, like you're in, you're, you came to the world, like, you're trying to find out like who you really are, or finding like, like, hmm, am I gay? I'm straight. That's how I've lived. That's how I was brought up with my values. I like dick too much. So. Yeah. Vagina. And, uh... No. <laughs> but to each his own. Right. <laughs> See, each his, I don't even care what you like. I gotta see. I'm a, I'm a teacher. I need to read. I am a gay teacher. Clearly, not a lot for me too. Personally, I'm bi. So, obviously, gender or preference is not a fucking choice because I still like men, even though they're fucking terrible. Like, come on. And I love women because have you seen women? Like, <laughs> well, um, I'm bisexual, so it's not it's hard to convince me of it if I already know that I am. So it's pretty. There's no convincing needed. <laughs> um, I feel like everybody's a little bit gay, even if they don't want to admit it. I mean, everyone experiments it experiments once in their life. So, and I am also gay. <laughs> so, <laughs> currently, I am straight, but um, it would just take the—I guess it would just take the right person in the right situation. Um, it, you know, it's all feelings. Love is love. If I were straight, what would convince me is if I, I guess, kissed another man. If I were straight, yeah, that would probably I have to tell agree me. with that. And yeah. if it didn't work, it didn't work. If I liked it, then hey, yeah, here I am today. Yeah, ladies, beware. There's a lot of DL guys out there. Truly, yeah. I have boys. <laughs> if you want to try something different, and then sometimes it does take a while, so there's no pressure for you or yourself. But if you, it takes you lots of time to find out, like. If you're like, like, bi, gay, lesbian, or straight, 
but finding yourself is a good thing because sometimes it'll take you time to convince yourself. You know, I'm married. I'm married, woman, with a child. My child who defines herself as gay, but I love her all the same. But I don't think I will get that same love as she's getting. If I were totally satisfied with someone from the same gender, then that would be an indication that I'm gay. If I had no desire, no anything like that, and was totally satisfied with someone of the opposite gender, then that would be straight. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be one side or the other, like me, but being straight or gay, I mean, you'd have to prefer one or the other. <laughs> yeah, like the same sex, like, yeah, whatever. For sure. Like you, or not at all, like right? Vagina to <laughs> vagina, deck to deck, and you like or, it. Or not. Or I don't know if you need to be convinced. I feel like people just know. So, I would say, I don't know. I just, if you feel comfortable being gay and being judged how you think your peers will judge you, do it. If you don't want that judgment, then, I mean, it's all up to you how you want people to receive you. I don't think there's any convincing or there's nothing that's going to... You're just born the way you are. That is. Convince me to be gay. Yeah. I'm, you know. Hey. <laughs> what did you say earlier? I said not, I know. <laughs> sure, it's not that easy to come out with your the people that you care about because they don't mind the way how they feel or they think. But I know on the inside, they'll love you who you are no matter what. Or like, <laughs> if I like... Maybe if I like watch two dudes and I like it, that could mean something. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, sure. I would think Why so. Not? I want to see that. So if you're down, hit me up. <laughs> I'm Daddy K on Instagram. <laughs> All right, next question. We're ready. <laughs>Killing you want me to talk right here? It's killing yeah. America more. Class war or people. Or These titties are men. killing me. <laughs> All right, you can cut that out. <laughs> Class war. Were what people do in bed. Class war. Class war. Love is love. Yeah. I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Probably what people do in bed. <laughs> Definitely not what people do in bed because Class it's war. private. Class war, absolutely. <laughs> Grandma doesn't understand. They're the bringing question. in, you know how they're bringing in more in the society. They're bringing up again about you know gay marriage and all that. Uh, yeah, all that. And the politics since Roe versus Wade got overturned. So they're okay. starting to bring that up. You know, I'm one who are not to judge, so we live our own. Okay. That is <laughs> class war. You mean like war or I mean I feel like a lot of people nowadays are super vanilla in bed so I guess that could be it <laughs> how well it, it depends on the line of like consent so mm. like people's people cross those lines probably more <laughs> mm. that's just my opinion what I do in bed is not anybody's business, nor is I hurting anybody. Absolutely nor does what not. you do and in bed. If they got a problem with what I'm doing in bed, I feel sorry for them. They ain't having enough fun. It's none of their business, really. <laughs> but yeah, class war, absolutely. Class war. Definitely. Um, what people do in bed is their business. That has nothing to do with anybody else. Class war, baby. Class war. Class war. Yeah. It's, it's all about power and money, who's yeah. on top, who's on bottom. Yep, it's amazing to see how the labor unions, I don't know, that's crazy how that's been going since Obama, I don't know. It's wild, but class war. Yeah. What do, what people do in bed? Because that is more important, which I don't understand, that is more important than 
what is co corrupting the entire nation. I would say class war because if you're in a certain class and you're like higher than like normal class, I guess, like those in the no in the lower class would be like, oh, I need to get with this higher class that way I can move up. Class war. It, people are saying you can't be this, you can't be that. It's kind of like Bette Midler's song, I'm beautiful, you're too gay, you're too fat, you're too this, you're too that. Um, it's definitely the class war. <laughs> Absolutely class war. What people do in bed is their business. Um, I mean, you just, you see, you see it a little bit every day. I'm not concerned about what anybody else is doing. That's their business, and if they're happy, they're happy. But when uh, other people force things on you, and you just have to deal with classist and you know all, all that stuff. It's just not very fun. Um, I don't really care what people do in bed. So probably class war. But like in a bed, like that's your own business. Like I don't give a fuck. That's closed doors or like open lights if you want to, you know. <laughs> It's not just a matter of what you do in bed, it's how you love people, how you judge people. If everyone is judging everyone, then it's no point in trying to be yourself or, and I think the most important thing is being yourself because that's how changes are made. That's how actual differences made i think war what i mean war. like it, what, honestly how, like what does other people doing in bed have to do with like, like ruining the world like it's none of my business exactly. if like you're happy you're not like i don't know killing touching people. little kids killing people raping people i think right. you're good with whatever you whatever do. you do behind closed doors is your business yeah, or in the car it's legal or in a public bathroom well i guess some shit's not legal though <laughs> like anal sex isn't legal in a lot of states how? Who's gonna like, prove it? I don't know, but there are laws, like weird laws that, that, I mean, like, as long as you're not, like, touching little kids, as long as you're not raping anybody, and you're not killing anybody, I think you're fine. I would say more like a class war because what's been going on right now has been crazy. Like, the probation, um, some of the shooting going on, but mostly probation, abortion was really hard for women that have been dealing with this since f over 50 years, and the governments are trying to bring that, like, bring history backwards. I'm like, why are you bring history backwards while you're not going moving forward? Because this is the women's rights to do what they think is it what's best for their bodies to do. So I, we all recommend to vote no. So we cannot have any bans in Kansas on the state. If the more bans are coming, and this will not be going pretty well in the U.S. in the future. Higher class generally tend to have a worse attitude. Middle class is ev just getting screwed by everybody. And then lower class is, they're also screwed, but occasionally they get some benefits. So it really just depends. People are classist. So I think how you lay in bed is more important than how the government is fucking all of us. Sorry. Truth but truth. Anyways, fuck war. Yeah. All right, cool. Next question. Not at all. It doesn't. I've been to a few weddings that were pretty fun. It is not affecting me at all. If you want to be miserable just like I'm miserable, then fuck it. Do it. Shit. It has. It hasn't. No. Love everybody. Yes. Even though it's not my beliefs, but I've got to love everybody. It's not my place to judge. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gay, and I'm getting married next year. September 30th, 2023. So it's amazing. <laughs> We're military, so now that gay marriage in the military is legal makes it a lot more inclusive 
Not bothered by it. If you like what you like and that's what you want, you want to be happy, genuinely be happy. Everyone deserves to be happy. Yeah, doesn't bother me. I mean, beyond that, nothing. I'm glad they're happy and able to do what they can do um, when they can do it. And I think everybody should have that, you know, right and ability. Well, it's given us rights <laughs> that we didn't have before. Yeah. So it's something that we can all finally share together. True. Uh, it doesn't. It's not my relationship. It's not my. It's not my business. If you're gay and you want to get married, love is love. Have fun. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, we're still fighting for trans rights, but we're getting there. So. In 2015, when they when they said same-sex marriage is legal, I was so happy and proud that we've been fighting for it for so long because it's okay to be who you are. You have to love yourself and love somebody that you really love. They accept you who you really are. And having same-sex marriage is a great thing. Something that might, again, get taken away from us. That's crazy, yeah. That's the truth. So gay marriage, to me, is everything because it allows people like me to be married to the ones that I love. Medical financial, personal, doesn't matter. It makes us equal. Absolutely. Agreed. I would say the same thing. Um, gay marriage affected me. How um, if in the future I would like to be in the same sex um, marriage, like I can do that personally. If I find the right um, person, then it doesn't matter if it's uh, same sex or different sex. Like it'll be like the same for me. Um, it, it'll be equal, like I said, equal rights. If you love the person entirely with your whole heart, not half of your heart, you need your whole heart in a marriage, then go for it. But if you're just like, eh, that's the person, that's the person that actually likes me and likes me for who I am, no, because there's not a real connection. You're just liking someone. You're just wanting to marry someone that understands all your flaws, but maybe they don't really understand your flaws. They just don't want to be alone like you don't want to be alone. You know? So, don't settle. It hasn't in that it's legal. But if it became illegal, it would affect me personally because I have family members that are married, that they happen to be gay and they are married. And I have friends that are in relationships. Some are, some are married, some are long-term, they've lived together for a long time. So that would, that's how that would affect me. It doesn't really affect me personally. I mean, I have a brother-in-law who's gay, so I would love for him to be able to be married. So I think if people want to love, they can love whoever they love. Be sure that that someone will be with you through thick and thin. Not just through the minuscule task. Because I feel like everyone goes with the task and not like, oh, I actually can't be with this without this person. So I say it doesn't affect me. Some people could be confused or be judgy at times, but if they can't accept that, then they have to deal with it, whether they like it or not. If they take that, say, sex marriage to ban that as well, it's going to be a lot of problem in the U.S. And I don't want that happen to a next list. Like he said also, we're still fighting for trans community in the military. So that's that's a big also plus because those people that already transition, um, some people be like, oh, what is, is he a he or she? Like, are they a she or he? What is it? Like, is the she or it? What? Like, no, um, whatever they chose to transition to, if it's a he or she, you have to respect that. Do you, boo? Uh, it hasn't. 
It really hasn't. Like, I <laughs> think that, like, anybody should be able to do whatever they want to do. Right. Like, right. my body, my choice. Kiss who you want and fuck who you don't. Yeah. There you go. Or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fix your brakes, brother. Okay, I think we're ready. Next one. Do I have any qualities of the opposite? Yeah, I'm a pussy. <laughs> Can I'm a dick? Yes, I think everybody does. <laughs> I mean, I like to think I outrank them. Ah! <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> but. <laughs> ah, sure. I've got some feminine qualities. I mean, to make sure uh, to, you know, upkeep my hygiene. Um, um, I like vagina. So. I would say yeah. I mean, there's not much of a difference. Just what's between your legs. So like, for human. Uh, I don't know. Um, I dress pretty switch. Like I go from dressing like sweatpants and muscle shirt to dresses and not dresses, but cute little shirts. So I mean, if that's a quality, then yeah. I don't have any qualities because I accept people who they are, whether they're bo boy, girl, man, or women, or trans male or female. I mean, straight men also like vagina. There you have it. For me, of the opposite sex, I would say I will, I am, I mean, I've been called it before, but I am handy. I mean, I, I wouldn't really say that, Stephen. That real feminine quality that just should be something everybody does but for some reason it's looked at that way um, I mean it's okay to be emotional and vulnerable as well and that's kind of a thing that gets knocked to the side a lot if you're a man so I mean it's you know really just I'm just myself but I do see a lot of those qualities I was raised in a house of all women so I'm a little bit more in touch with my feminine side so there you go <laughs> I guess compassion. Yeah, compassion, <laughs> sensitivities. Yeah, absolutely. Um, more empathetic. Interior design. But those are also <laughs> stereotypes. Truly. Yeah. You know, women, men, masculine, feminine. They're all just labels. Absolutely. <laughs> I say I'm very masculine because I don't know. I ain't gonna take no shit, okay? I'm not gonna take no shit. But I want someone to be there and accept that I'm not gonna take shit and don't throw me shit. Oh yeah, I think everybody does. I think it's sort of weird they put people in separate boxes that this is gender specific. People can like whatever they want. So, yeah. I do. I'm very much in tune with my feminine side. I'm a good communicator. Um, I'm very verbal. Yes, I radiate big dick energy. Every Amen. Day Amen. Big Amen. dick energy sure. all day, every day. Big vibes. I big have vibes. bigger cojones than most men I talk to. Agreed. Secondary. <laughs> that statement. <laughs> Don't throw me shit because I'm not going to accept it. So be who you are and accept who you are because I'm going to accept you either way. It doesn't matter. I love them who they are, and I'll be supportive to them wherever they can. And sometimes it can be scary to find out your 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 opposite sex. And it's a lot of courage to do what you want to do, but you have some good friends and family. They'll love and support you whatever decision you want to do. Um, I have no problem showing my emotions being in touch with them and honestly I think that shows strength of a man if he can laugh, cry, and show emotions uh, outwardly. <laughs> uh, I like to work with my hands. <laughs> 
I do mechanic work, um, whatever blue collar work you can do, like I can do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm a female, um, if I am birthed a female, um, I can do it. <laughs> I love you for who you are, but you need to be who you are. And that's, that's my answer on that. If I had short hair, I'd look like my brother, does that count? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like I have no, no, nah, no. no. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Go for it. There you oh, go. That's, that's beautiful. Literally. <laughs> that's it.